Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn how to play the song Hurt So Good by John Cougar Mellencamp, and this is from his 1982 record American Fool. And I have it arranged for one acoustic guitar, because on the record there's about three guitars playing at various points, but I have it all broken down and combined arranged, so we're going to do it on one acoustic guitar today. And the song is in standard A440 tuning. So go ahead and tune your guitars low to high E, A, D, G, B, and E. And the song is moderately fast rock, about 128 beats per minute, and it's in 4-4 time, and we're going to be in the key of A major. I'm going to show you the chords first for all the verses and the uh, choruses, and there's some other chords in the bridge, but I'll show you those when we get to it later. So the, the main chords you're going to need is you're going to need an A major, and you're going to want to play it at times with three fingers with the open high E, and then also at times we're going to grab it like this with the one finger bar. You're also going to need E major, F sharp minor, and D major. Now if you're having some trouble with this F sharp minor bar chord or other bar chords, or maybe if you're having trouble changing from open to bar chords, I could really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a killer free video lesson. It's extended play. It's not on YouTube. It's packed with my bar chord playing and changing technique tips. It's packed with exercises. It'll really get your bar chord playing and changing blasted to the next level. And I'll pair it with a free ebook also. And in the ebook, I have more chord charts, more lessons, more exercises. It's a really killer one-two punch. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. So there's four parts to this song. There's the intro. There's the verses. There's two verses in the song. There's there's the choruses, and then there's a bridge section. Now for a lot of this song, remember like I said earlier, there's like three guitars playing. So I'm kind of combining it for one guitar. Here's what the intro will sound like. First play open A and open D strings, those two, that's like a D fifth chord, and then you're going to play that right to the A chord. Then you're going to play the open G and open D, that's like a G fifth chord, and then to the E chord. Okay, so it kind of sounds like this. Alright, now you repeat the open, uh, repeat the D5, the open uh, A and open D strings, to the A chord. Alright, so so far you have this. Now next thing you're going to do is hit the open D string and then two open E's, just this one string. Then hit the low finger of the E chord, but you only kind of hear like the low four strings. And then low E and then the high E and B strings together. So slow all that. So think of that like the first part of the intro. And you're going to actually come in, just so you know how to count this, you come in with that first chord on the four. So the drums kind of start the song, do, da, do, do, da, right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. That four is where you come in with, with that first chord, one and two and three and four, right? So you come in on the four, all right? So that's the first part of the intro. And the second part is this. Alright, so what you're going to do there is you're going to hit the open A string and then you're going to hit this little double spot, double stop, uh, fourth fret on the G, third fret on the B string. You hit that three times. Then you're going to move your first finger flat and play the double stop, second fret on the, the B and the G strings. Then two on the A string muted, or palm muted, slightly muted two open A strings. So, so far. Then you're going to play this little chord, fourth fret D string, second fret on the G string. Then another hit on the A string. Then the whole chord, A. So, so far. Okay. And you could use this one finger bar for the A chord, it's just a little easier. And then the last one plays a little three note lick. 
and then you go back to two hits on the A before you open A before you start it over again. Let me play that second part slow. And then once you finish that lick, you start it right over again with the double stops because you have to play that four times. It goes right into the first verse, when I was a young boy. Okay, let me play you the first verse, which is the same exact thing he does in the second verse, uh, which is don't have to be so excited. And then I'll go back and explain the rhythm and the strum pattern. It'll sound like this. starts over on the A chord. So let me show you the progression in the chords and then we'll go over the strumming pattern. So basically it's A when I was a young boy, young you changed to E and then F sharp minor said put away those young on young you go to D. So A, E, F, F sharp minor, D and then it repeats those first four chords again. A, now I'm getting older, changed to E, so much older, F sharp minor. I love all those D, young boy days and then A with a girl like U, E, and then A to E again. A with a girl like U, E, okay? And then F sharp minor. Lord, no, there are D things on things. You change the D. We could do baby E, just me and you. And that last time E, you do it uh, two measures on the E. Everything else is just one measure, and that, that's the verse. All right, so I was using two different strum patterns, and I was also doing some dynamics. Now, you could use just one strum pattern if you want. But we like to mix it up a little bit, especially when you're playing one acoustic guitar. You got to kind of mix it up uh, so it doesn't get boring for yourself playing and also for the listener. But keep this in mind, on the record, the guitar is very sparse in the verse. He's just doing like... Right? It's really sparse. And that's not going to work if you're just playing it on solo acoustic guitar because it's going to sound too empty. That's why we want the full chords. Right, and take advantage of that for one guitar. Two strum patterns. Let's do this one. I'll just scratch it out first. Down, 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 up, down, up. Down, down. Two downs and then straight eighth notes. One and two and. Down, up, down, up. Put it together. Down, 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 up, down. And then another strum pattern you could do if you want, and I mixed them, you could do this one. Down, down, up. downs, two ups, and a down up. Slow it down. Down, down, up, up, down. So for the first two lines, the A, E, F sharp minor, and D does twice, it's you could just do the straight down, 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 up, down, up. I'll do a little slower for you. Then when he goes with a girl like you, A to E, A to E, on the A, down, 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 up, down, up. He does a stop on the record, you, and it stops and the drums kind of are, are, so you hear something. So we don't want to totally stop. So what I did there was I did a down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. Just kind of do that chucking, which I showed you in past videos how to do, right? Just let that side of the hand hit the strings at the same time the pick does. It's all in that pick hand, right? So you're doing that down, down, up, up, down, up, strum, but on the downs, the second down, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And that kind of gives it that feel, right? So A, girl like you. On the A, I did down, down, up, up, down, up, E, down, down, up, up, down. Now on the E chord there, down, down, I'm breaking up the strum. It's a technique where you're still doing the same pattern, but you're not hitting all the strings. Now again, these are just embellishments. You could just play it. All the, all of 
of the strings if you want, but these little embellishments really make a big difference. So with a girl like you, down, 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 up, down, up, E, back to A, down, up, up, down, up, E, then you can go back to the down, 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 up, down, up, F sharp minor, D, E, for the first measure of E, down, 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 up, down, up, and then I kind of do this build, the dynamic build where it starts off slow, gets louder, and I incorporate more strings, and that's because we want to build into that big chorus of Hurt So Good. And all I was doing on that second measure of the E chord is straight eighth notes, one and two and three and four and two notes per beat, but I was using all down strokes, one and two and three and four, and bringing up the volume, and I could even start off slow, uh, not slow, um, start off mellow. And as I get further in the count, bring up the volume and add more strings. Right? Now if you could do me a huge favor and please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel it really helps us to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, please leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the thumbs up. Give it a like. Share it. And thank you so much for your support. The chorus hurts so good. Come on, baby, make it hurt so good. Sometimes love don't feel like it should. You make it hurt so good. So let me play the chorus for you. I'll take it right from that second E chord of the verse, so we're building into it. So right from there. All right, and then, then it goes back into, you repeat the intro, and he plays that intro two times, all right? So let's break that uh, down. So A, hurt so, E, good. And then you do A and E again. A, come on baby, make it E, hurt so good. And then D, sometimes, quick change, F sharp minor. Uh, so the D is sometimes, F sharp minor is love, don't D, feel like it should, you make it E, hurt so good. And then you go back to hitting that open A. back to the intro two times just playing that the double stops um, twice around and then into the next verse okay so on the hurt so good we're gonna use that same strum pattern down 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 up down up down 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 up down up. except when it gets to the D okay so now we have to split the strum so do the down down up up down up same strum we did earlier um, but on the D you're just gonna do the two downs and switch to F sharp minor, up, up, down, up. Okay? So you're splitting the one measure between two chords, down, down, up, up, down, okay? And then back to D, full strum. You make it E. Down, 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 up, down, up. Heard so good. Hit the A string and start that double stop intro. And that's the chorus. And that's the same chorus he does again later and then in the outro. So it goes intro, verse one, which you know, right? Uh, into the chorus, then you repeat the intro two times, verse two, into the second chorus, okay? And then you repeat the intro again, but this time you just repeat the intro one time. And then it goes into the bridge section. I ain't talking no big deal. I ain't made no plans myself. But I'll play it first and then we'll go back and explain it. It'll sound like this. Right from the I ain't talking no big deals. back into the chorus. He starts it off on a D chord. Down, 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 up, down, up. I ain't talking no big deals. Now, big deals, he does a little blues shuffle type rhythm, switching between this A chord and an E5 chord. All right, so let's take the A part first. 
So you're basically going to play that one finger bar A, and you're basically just playing, it's basically an A5, because you're playing the low E, uh, you're playing the A string and the D string with a downstroke. And then add your fourth finger to the D string at the fourth fret. And that's an A6, so you're basically playing the open A and the fourth fret of the D string. So down, down, and then let your finger off, so you're only hitting this A6 for one downstroke. That's the rhythm. So um, he just does it one time now, so it's like down, down on the A6, then go back to the A5, down, up, and then down on the A6, and then, and then up on the A5. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Then go back to the D, same thing, down, 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 up, down, up. Now you're going to go F sharp minor, plans, two down strokes, and then A, up, up, down, up. Self. That's the same thing where we split that strum. Remember, we did that in the chorus. And it repeats. I ain't talking no big deals. Maybe we could walk around. On walk around, you go to the E to E5 change, which I'll show you. But the first part of that second line is I ain't talking no high heels. Same thing. D. Do the A rhythm again. All right, same thing as the previous line, but now it changes to an E5 chord. We could walk around on walk. So you're going to play an E5, same way you play the A5, just bring it up a string each. So it's basically low E string, A string at the second fret. That's an E5. So for this rhythm, much like we did with the A and the A6, to play an E6, you're going to add your uh, same thing like the A6, third finger on the fourth fret. So you're basically playing open low E and fourth fret at that uh, on the A string, and that's your E sixth. So you're going to do this. All right, and then down, up, down, just holding the strings, scratching it. Okay, and that kind of, because he stops on the original recording, and, and, and again, we want to have something there because it's just one guitar. Okay, now the second part on that E5 rhythm is this. Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm playing the E5, E6, but then add the pinky at the fifth fret on the A string, and that's on that D note, so that's an E7. So E5, E6, E7, E6, E5, right? So the rhythm, if I play with the rhythm, will sound like this. All right? strumming it is I'm going, the first two I'm doing two upstrokes, up, up on the E5, down, up, E6, down, E7, up, E6, down, E5. So if you put those two rhythms together on the E chord, and he does that five times on the E chord before it goes back to the chorus outro. All right, now the other thing is, to make it easy for you to transition, the first time you hit that E5, you're probably gonna have to use a down, 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 up, and then down on the E6. Because you're coming out of that A5, A6 rhythm and that's ending on an upstroke, remember? It might be too hard for you to go back to another upstroke on the E5. So just for the first one, just go down, up, down, then start the upstrokes and it'll work perfect with starting on the upstroke all after that. So let me play that slow, the last line of the bridge, using on that E5 chord the downstrokes first, then the upstrokes for the five times after. It'll sound like this. right into the last chorus. So there's a couple other little things that they do that I'll show you. Right after the bridge kind of is the outro of the song and in the outro what he's doing he's playing the chorus 
And then after the chorus, he plays a variation of that intro lick like this. Because then he plays that part of the intro lick six times and it fades out, right? I'm going to show you a way to end it. But the one lick, and you'll hear it if you listen to the end, is very similar. He's just doing that same double stop, fourth fret and third fret on the G and B, to the second fret on the G and B, and then fourth fret on the D string, second fret on the D string. And then he just connects that with the the rest of the the, the the full lick. It'll sound like this. And you just can play that, you know, four times or six times. And then I would just do the last one and just let the A chord ring. You can end it just like that. And then one other variation he does when he's playing that little A rhythm out, he does this. So all he's doing there, you just do A, A, A. You just do three A's accents. Then pick the rhythm up again. That's it. And that's the song Hurts So Good. It's a fun one. Enjoy it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content and ring that subscription bell because then you'll be notified we have new lessons posted. Also, don't forget, click on the link in the YouTube description box below and get my free video lesson ebook that will really help you along in your bar chord playing and changing journey. It's packed with technique tips, exercises. It's killer. I'll send it to you for free. Uh, just click on that link below. Thank you so much for watching this lesson and thank you so much for your support over the years and years. So appreciate it. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. See you in the next lesson.